sitting in the hotel, watching South Park, doing some stuff on the phone before we go out to eat tonight. Uh, put the tire chains on today. This is truly going to be a how not to video because once, well, once we got the first one figured out, the second one wasn't too bad, but you'll see in the video. Um, I think we did pretty good for guys who've never run tire chains before and have no experience with them, so we could already tell a big difference in mobility at the end of the day on how well the skitter got around the mud, how well it got around the timber, just climbing over brush, old dead logs, snags, just all around getting around. It's the, There was night and day difference in mobility, so um, definitely uh, looking forward to work the next few days to see how much it really increases production so we'll, uh, we'll post some videos of that tomorrow hopefully we can get this job wrapped up here in the next two days up here at Blue Springs <coughs> get on back to Farley so Mike stop coughing All right. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for following along hope you guys had a good Christmas I actually started to make a Christmas video yesterday because I went to work just to move some treetops pile some brush and I was about 30 minutes from getting done and busted a fuel line on the skitter. So that just kind of ruined my day and uh, I ended up not posting the video because it just wasn't a lot of good content, I didn't think. So yeah, that's how I spent my Christmas was in the timber working on a different job back home. So regardless, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the logger threads orders. Be sure to keep buying that stuff. You guys keep buying the logger thread stuff. We'll keep making it. We got some awesome designs we're working on right now. We'll hopefully be out here maybe the end of J January. I forgot what month it was already. So definitely check it out. Guys, thank you so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel here at Turner Logging LLC. Find us on Instagram and Facebook at Turner Logging LLC. Logger Threads on Instagram and Facebook at Logger Threads and LoggerThreads.com. And uh, Tipper Tracker, that free app you can download for all devices. Guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you Tire chain installation day. He's got one chain out of the barrel. These are a brand new set of Babic Bear Paws. Single ring chains. But I think the sling is Bear Paw. Other chains in the barrel. We have never used chains before. I owned a bell cutter one time that had a set of chains on it, but they were on it when I bought it, and I never had to put them on or take them off, so they've got quite a bit of rain up here, so we're going to chain up to maximize traction for the rest of the winter up here, working up north. The great thing about these 23 ones, that's what we run on all of our log skitters, except for one of our grapple machines that has 28 L's, so... Five of the, or four of the five skitters have uh, 23 ones, so this change, these chains will be, uh, we can run them on whatever skitter if we need to from time to time. So we think we've got an idea how we're going to put them on. Of course, we've got the skid steer to help out too up there at the top of the hill, which I think will help a bunch. And we're going to chain up the front two tires. So. I'm not saying this will be the fastest and most economic way to put on a set of tire chains, but this is how we're going to do it, and this, I guess, will be our little probably not how-to video. We are already cheating and using the skid steer. We're going to get up here on this flat ground and put them on up here where it's nice and level. We're just kind of back up. Give her hell. We're just kind of dragging the chain up here than try to pack it. Pretty greasy. Pretty greasy. Get up here where it's nice and flat. I think it'll be a little easier. Yeah, good? Yeah. Put the forks down. That's back up.
Forks been again. I'm gonna have to buy a new set of forks for long. Those forks have been junk. Now we'll see how this plays out. everything apart here. Like I said, I don't know what's the right way to do this or if this is the wrong way to do this, but this is how we're going to try to do it. Center up. Alright, we're trying a different approach now. We put a log up here, that way we can get a good bite beneath the blade to raise the tires up all the way. So we're going to try this and see how this works. And like I said, I'm sure some of you guys are going to get a real kick out of this video because none of us have ever had any experience with tire chains before. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever put them on, so uh, we'll, we'll see how this works and keep the skid steer here handy. So getting the chains on really wasn't that big of a deal, but trying to get all the slack out of them and get them tensioned is uh, the problem we're having now. Of course, over here watching some YouTube videos and some how-to videos, trying to figure out what clevises go where and where we hook what. This is definitely a how-not-to video rather than a how-to video. Uh, like I said, getting the chains on, especially with four of us, was easy, but there's so much slack in them. But it's just, uh, that's the part we're having trouble figuring out with where to put all of our clevises and where to tighten down. And like I said, never, never ran chains before. It's uh, definitely, <laughs> it's like this every time. Once they get on here, they're not coming off. So we'll see if we can uh, make a little progress. About lost a foot. A little bit of slack in it. Now I've I've heard mixed things. I've heard some guys say you want to have slack in them. I've heard guys say you don't want to have slack in them. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've I've talked to different people about the matter, so I don't know who to believe since I don't know nothing about them. But we finally got the first one on. It kind of gives us a good idea of how to put the second one on. So. Like I said, just kind of a big learning experience for all of us today. But I, I would like to see it a little tighter in the future. I might buy one of those chain tightening tools just to have. I, I should have bought one the other day if I had I had known, but uh, might get the skid steer. Bring the other set. So, yeah, I'd uh, I wish I'd have bought that tool, but uh, like I said, learning experience. Uh, <laughs> you never know till you do it. Like I said, uh, we've never, never in my life have we needed chains for anything before the logging I've done. You know, my dad's been logging for 50 some years. Uh, just we've never needed chains in Southwest Missouri with the type of logging we do in our ground conditions. But over the, over the last few years, we've been doing more and more work up here in uh, kind of northern Missouri where the winters are a little different and the ground conditions are a little different. So. It's required the use of tire chains to stay mobile and get jobs done. And we uh, we first ran into this problem here about three years ago, just north of us here a little bit at Kearney, Missouri, on a job where we uh, the ground was frozen. We needed some chains, and it was brought to our attention then. But we're definitely chaining up now. Like I said, and as we go, I'm sure we'll learn more about it. I'd like to study more, and a lot of you guys are nice enough to uh, to give input. You know, it'll be phone calls, text messages. Uh, talking here on on YouTube, so we we do we get a lot of good input on it. And, but yeah, uh, hopefully these will work out all right. Like I said, we'll we'll get them tightened up, snugged up a little bit. I'd like to see them a little tighter, I think. And maybe that's what they need to be. I don't know. We'll get some feedback, but we're gonna we're gonna drag that other chain right up here with the skid steer, kind of put it on over here where some rock at because it's just a lob lolly over there. 
and we'll see if we can get this other one on we got a better idea so uh we'll be up and going maybe we'll get some logs out today yet we're just laying them out on the ground and driving over them and then uh and just pulling them up like i said there's four of us so that makes it pretty easy on the on the muscle them around part so everybody's kind of kind of interested in how this is being done today here Hey, back up a little bit. Okay. And now we'll uh, pull, them up, <clears throat> pull them up over the tire. and up before. Lift them up and I back up. Oh, well. <laughs> here we go. Now we just kind of tighten them up, I think. <laughs> About eight minutes. Now we got it figured out. It's all the longer it took us to put that chain on. It didn't take very long at all to get it on there once we uh, kind of figured out the other side. Just kind of trying them out there, make sure everything's going to stay where it should before we take it off the timber and start pulling wood. Like I said, this is by no means a how-to video. It's probably more of a how-not-to video. Mike, he's like a pig. But it's muddy, nasty. And we're up and dragging. I'm going to work the deck area the rest of the day. Uh, John's on the skitter. Mike, he's just kind of along for the ride. He's kind of a He's, he's a good hand, uh, like I said, when you need, he's just kind of like a gopher, and he's he's handy to have, and he likes to go with us. Uh, you know, if you guys have watched the channel regularly, you know Mike's went with me a lot of places. We were actually kicking around today on the way up here about trying to make it out to Oregon for logging conference. I've never been, I'd like to go out there, I've never been to the Pacific Northwest. It's kind of been talked about here for the last few days, but... I was kind of kicking around with Mike if he wanted to go with me. Of course, the answer was yes. So Mike's handy to have. So with Kenny cutting me, working the deck, John on the skitter, and Mike being Mike, it uh, it makes things nice. We can get a lot done. Uh, I'm probably a terrible son because I'm not real big on Christmas, but I did get my dad a, a pack of files and a new ruler, and I got a, I got a pack of files and a ruler for myself, but... I also got one for Dad. He likes these big, thick Lufkin rulers. Uh, and the, the files I got were those preferred or whatever, the little German files. They're not steels, but he used to really like those and said they lasted longer than the steel he thought. So I got him a pack of those and uh, I got some for myself as well. Now, for some odd reason, when they come and got all the logs, they didn't get the best logs, those veneer. Those are all the better. Those are the big stuff right there. Of course, there's some of the big logs they got, but a lot of those high dollar logs are right there in that pile. The guy on the picker truck said he couldn't load them, which I find that incredibly hard to believe. If this skid steer will pick up logs like that, then there's no way that picker will not pick those logs up. I have seen them load much bigger oak logs that weigh a lot more than these walnut. So, I don't know what their plan of attack is there, but... I'm gonna go ahead and start bucking these so we can start getting a row on this and try to get this job wrapped up this week and get back to Farley, then get it finished up. Then uh, we've got Blue, sir, not Blue Springs, we're in Blue Springs. And we got Lee Summit after that. Uh, maybe Belton, Missouri, I think a stop and out on the Kansas side of Kansas City. So we'll be up in this area for a little while yet, but 
that's uh, that's today's how not to video, which uh, once we got the first one figured out, it'll all come together pretty good. So <laughs> do, do a better job than we did.